Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Calvin and welcome back to another Battlefield commentary, apart from it's not going to be about Battlefield, it's going to be about Titanfall, because that's coming out in like two months-ish, I don't know, something like that, and I, uh, I'm kind of excited for it, I don't know whether to buy it or not, but I think that I probably will, because this thing hopefully will be the next big thing. Um, so obviously, what comes out every year, and has been for the past like seven years, is Call of Duty, right? I mean, that's just been a recurring game, and it happens with a lot of games. The problem is that they're kind of all the same, um, which is a problem. The only reason we buy them, or people buy them, is because they have hope. I hope that they're going to buy, hope that one day, you know, this is going to be the next game, this is going to be the next Call of Duty that just blows everyone's mind, but it won't, because it's the same thing over again. So, yeah, um... So this is, Timefall's been developed by Respawn Games, which is basically the people who got fired from Infinity War back in Modern Warfare 2 days, if you remember, which can lead both ways. It could mean that, well, the, you know, really cool, because Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 were amazing games. They were brown, well, I mean, Modern Warfare 2 wasn't that great, but they did create Call of Duty 4, which was a game changer for FPS, so first person shooters, if you don't know what FPS means. So that, that, I mean, you know, hopefully they're gonna do it again. But it could also go the other way, be if what they, you know, they the reason they got fired um, and the baby got stolen off them basically, um, because they developed a game and left it for six months and just didn't even care, you know, basically took people's money and and just kind of said deal with it. Um, but I don't know. It all just depends on how you know. I don't know. It's just weird. So, let's just go on to the, the good points about Titanfall. Let's just go on to what we think's good about it. So, for starters, because it's something completely new, right? I mean, this is not really a, a, a game we've seen before. It's kind of just full of, of everything, weirdly. And it's been developed by a company who, who's never developed a game before, which means there's no gonna, there's no competition. You know, like, when a new card comes out, you know, you get the people who play Battlefield, and they're like, they're not going to play it, you know, and the people, it's still around people, when your Battlefield comes out, the people who are on COD are usually not going to play it, um, because they're, they're fans of the game, so at this point, it's kind of a good thing, because there are no fans, so you're kind of going to get this, a lot of people interested in the game, which is, which is good. Another thing, um, but there's a downside to that, because... Battlefield and Call of Duty are both non-exclusives, and the reason Halo wasn't a Call of Duty or Battlefield killer was because it was only an Xbox exclusive, making it, you know, I mean, if you don't have Xbox, you're not going to play it, and there's a lot of people who say that's stupid, you know, you know, have a PS4 or something, go on, uh, PS3, PS4, they're not going to play it, they can't. Um, so that was the downside of Halo, never having that opportunity, because it can't, there's just not enough people to do that. Whereas Titanfall, now Titanfall's taking the same approach. It's an Xbox, it's a Microsoft exclusive space, basically, because it's on Xbox and it's on PC. Um, which is a problem, because that means you're only going to get people on Xbox One as well, because uh, it's only Xbox One exclusive, it's not Xbox 360. So you're only going to get people who have the new console and people who have a decent PC to run it, because I imagine this is going to be pretty decent, right? Um, so there's a problem, because now you've got all of this attention, because now you've got Call of Duty and Battlefield for people interested in a game, and then it's now only going to be an exclusive on Microsoft type of devices, which is kind of stupid when you think about it, because, well, why would you do that? Let's move on to the actual the game itself. So Respawn decided, let's make a game. Um, you know, they basically had their baby, they had their COD 4 and the Modern Warfare 2, and that was their baby, and it got taken off them, so they didn't, you know, go cry in the corner about it, they decided to just make 19 more Super Babies, right? I mean, that's what it is, basically, like, you, you, I mean, the game is just a massive clusterfuck of, of crap, you know? <laughs> it's like, let's stick, right, we're gonna make a robot game. Let's make the robots climb up walls. Let's make them look amazing. And let's just stick general FPS in there. You know? Let's just stick normal gun on gun front. But beside that, you've got these giant ass robots. And then, 
You know, it's like they've just gone into like a buffet of like, uh, what what can it be like? Like a massive, like a magic a buffet of things that you can put in a game, and they've just kind of randomly picked things out and put it in a game. Um, but from gameplay and stuff, it, it looks like it's kind of working, and hopefully they do pull it off. It looks like they can pull it off. But you know, I don't know. Like, there's a downside to picking things and and choosing new games. There's a reason why Battlefield decided to just make Battlefield 4, I mean, sorry, DICE decided to make Battlefield 4, rather than make a new new type of Battlefield, because they've kind of done that a lot, you know, they made Battlefield 2, and then they made Bad Company 1 and Bad Company 2, and they kind of have to go, like, randomly, they don't know, like, in, in order, they just kind of make cool games. Um, whereas COD just kind of released the same thing every year. But the reason Battlefield decided to go back 4 is because they wanted to be safe. Um... If they release something completely new, there's a 50-50 chance of it either going really successful or being terrible. Because either no one's going to like it because it's just different, or people are going to like it because it's different. You know what I mean? Like, you, 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 very risky to do that. And obviously Respawn Games have decided, you know, they've done it once before, they're going to do it again. So, yeah, they can do that if they want. I don't know. But it's just, uh, so with everyone being used to this, the, the general FPS of you get a gun, you're a guy, you go on a map, you shoot people. They've changed that and they said, you've got a guy who's got a robot, what's got rockets, and guns, and big guns, and there's big maps, and explosions, and more robots, and also people on the floor running around, and guns, and rockets, and robots, and more robots, and a lot of robots. Because it's Titanfall. <laughs> so, it's just like, okay, um, that's not really my normal FPS that I sit and kind of play, but, yeah, you know, give it a go. So, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. So, I'm hoping that this is going to, well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the next big thing. I'm pretty sure that this thing is going to dominate um, Call of Duty, and it is definitely going to dominate, it's definitely going to be a COD killer, um, because it's just something new. We're all wanting it, you know? We're all wanting this new game. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's like FIFA, right? I mean, that's, that's been going on. But the thing about FIFA is each game, or each year, they, uh, they change it up a little bit because it's, it's a new whole new season of players or whatever it is. Uh, so they, they have the option to do that. Whereas Call of Duty, they don't. They just release the same fucking game. Literally over and over and over again. So, I don't know. I think that this is definitely going to be a Call of Duty killer, and this is definitely going to be uh, a new, awesome, big jump in advancements of what FPS stands for. It does not mean that you just have to have a guy with a gun. Um, but, you know, many people have tried, and many people have failed at creating uh, different types of FPS, so I don't know. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll be posting videos daily, and tips and tricks, and also gun reviews, and other cool things like that, and this gameplay I do absolutely amazing. See you guys later, and bye-bye.